What is up guys? It's a wanted turtle. We are doing some more unbroken bonds. We have 12 more packs in search for oh we have we have quite a list. We're looking for that Rishi Ram Charizard, of course. We're in search for our first muck muck, which I'm really looking forward to pulling. Um let's see, we haven't pulled this guy yet, although he's not too high on my list. And uh yeah, we want that Whimscott too. I feel like that Whimscott is it's, uh it's a lot of potential there. The fact that he can just basically ignore half of the attacks that your opponent can muster it's quite good all right let's see and it's not even like you need to use an attack it's just like a passive ability so for our first pack we have a metal energy happini welder that's a very good card hunter litten croaky crub brawler oddish squirtle a raichu reverse let's see and never give up you can use this attack only if you have three at least three or more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Attach all energy cards and discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Interesting. Headbolt for 110. And then Aromatus. Alright, we're still on the road to redemption to recover from our first box, which was very weak, in my opinion. Actually, I'm not sure if anyone can really refute that. So let's see, we got a Gliscor. That's pretty creepy. Triple Acceleration Energy, love that. Energy Spinner. <laughs> Is that like a Vicious Spinner? Aaron. Seal. Bell Sprout. Ghastly. Fairy Charm. Reverse. Let's see, prevent all damage to Fairy Coupon Pokemon that's attached to by your opponent's Electric type. Why specifically the Electric type? And then we got a Graveler. Like that card. Uh, Steamroll. This attack is affected by resistance. Ah, I feel like this, this card could be pretty good, just, you know, with that triple acceleration. Uh, then a fighting energy, you can even use this attack. This attack does 20 less damage for each colorless energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. Hmm. Never heard that before. It's interesting. For some of like, the big tag teams, I imagine they're like three. So then you're down to like 120 for four energy. But that, that steamroller, just for that triple acceleration, um, and then you're doing a... 100 damage straight up. Not bad. Alright. We have a Dark Energy, Fairy Charm Ability, Tyrogue, Stealthy Hood, Tentacool, Drowsy, Chillin' Drowsy, Cubone, Crow Brawler, Sand Dial, a Reverse Goldeen, and then a Sharpedo. Hmm. Another slow start, guys. Man, Unbroken Bonds is just not our thing so far. We gotta, we gotta get into our groove, get some good cards, get, get some uh, good pulls. Just in a bit of a rut. Giovanni's Exile, Graveler. Porygon 2, Drowsy. Cubone, Crab Brawler. Sandile, Oddish. A Volcanian, that's pretty cool. Flame Starter, search your deck for all a Fire Energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. If if you go second and it's your first turn, instead search up to three fire energy and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like, then shuffle your deck. Wow. Um, high Heat Blast, 50 plus. If you have at least four energy in play, this attack does six, 60 more damage. That's a pretty cool card. Especially if you have another Pokemon, like you only need two energy on Volcanion, so I like that. And then if you have something else that, you know, you can use Welder just to get a bunch of energy on something. I feel like that could be pretty good. Maybe like the Charizard. Ultra Forest Carvin, boy. Golbat by the pool, or by the fountains. Bellsprout, Diglett, Giovanni. I can't tell if he looks pissed or not. It's unexpected. Interesting art, Poliwag. Rhyhorn, Growlithe, another Growlithe. And then Red's Challenge, it's an interesting card. You can only play this card if you discard two other cards in your hand. Search your deck, basically it's a Ultra Ball that's not limited Pokemon, but it does. A, it is a supporter, so I feel like the green search is much better than Red's challenge. All right, guys, what is happening? <laughs> Where are our good cards? What is going on? Water Energy, LT Surge Strategy, Electromagnetic Rigor. You can only play this card if you discard two other cards in your hand. Search your deck for up to up to two in any combination of electric. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, is that for like a Picarom deck or something? Interesting art. Inkay, 
Tentacool. Martial Arts Dojo for a reverse. And then a Polyrath. Oh my gosh. Alright, come on. Let's get some. Let's. Let's, uh. Ooh, let's, let's light this thing up. Here we go. We're doing it right here, right now. Is this gonna be it? This is gonna break our bad streak. Get our first secret rare, maybe. We got a Cleffa. Porygon 2. Salandit. Coughing. A Lowland Diglett. Zubat. A Jigglypuff with like a lay on her head. Do Drio and then ooh oh yes finally we got our mucks guys. Um, I think this is just a regular G. Oh yeah, the the special art kind of has them in like the sewer, the manhole. That looks I really want that one as well. But we finally got at least we got our base muck. So let's look at it. 270 HP. See severe poison. Basically, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Put eight counters instead of one. Uh, so I feel like that's really strong if unless they retreat uh, unless you have that special stadium um, They'll just do 80, but then um, when it comes back to your turn We're talking 160 and then but definitely on the way back. You're you're definitely done uh, And then if you're already poisoned if your point active Pokemon is poisoned heal 100 damage and this thing does 120 as well nasty goo mix paralyze the opponent and if you have uh, Additional what was it how many energies do you need? Four extra energy. Um, this thing does 150 damage per poison tick. I really want this card to work. I really want them to be meta viable. I feel like it's so cool. I didn't like Mux. Like uh, back in like the fossil sets. Like oh, this guy's this guy's terrible. But now I really like. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I think it's just so cool. All right, we have Ultra Force, Dark St Dusk Stone Hunter, Santru, Dust Murkrow, Oddish, Mistrevious, Salandit, Darumaka for the reverse, and then a Wigglytuff. All right, let's get one more good pull from this opening. Still waiting for our first secret. Can't believe that. All right, will this be the one, guys? Gliscor, Frogadier. Right on, Venonat, Rattata, Goldeen, Darumaka, a Sand. That's not the reverse. Here's an Arcanine reverse. That guy uses a lot of fire energy. And then, ooh man, what a good opening! Yes, we still don't have any full arts or anything, but we are just getting all the cards we want. Checking off uh, all the cards on our list. Here's the Whimsicott. I really like this card as well. Uh, he is a stage one. And then Fluffy Cotton. This is amazing. If any damage done to your to this Pokemon. By attacks, flip a coin if head prevent that damage. 50% of the time, he won't even touch Whimsicott. Energy below. This attack does 30 more damage for the times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. So, starts at 40 with just one fairy energy. Slap on that triple acceleration, and that'll just add another 90. We're talking 130 right there just for two cards. Yeah, it's the four energy is not for 130 is not not in, uh, not nothing crazy, nothing right home about, and uh, but it's only stage one, and that fluffy cotton, you know, 190, um, it's nothing to laugh at, it's nothing crazy high, but fluffy cotton, you know, just prevent stop half the attacks. Toy box GX, I don't think there's anything special. Search your deck for up to five cards and put them in your hand. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a really good card. You know, everyone's getting all excited about the Gardevoir Sylveon. You know, there's still a lot of people around going around, but yeah, I, I think this this thing can make a this thing can work. And uh, actually, if you pair it up with the um, Gardevoir Sylveon, and it can kind of help ramp up, even though you don't need to ramp up, but it, it just kind of powers up the <clears throat> energy blow. Metal Core Barrier. This thing is insane. Attached to a uh, metal Pokemon does take 70 less damage. It's crazy. Slap that on with full metal wall. <laughs> what was that? Is that another 30, I think? So we're talking about 100, 110 less damage every single time you take damage. That would be insane. Okay, guys. Spirits are getting lifted. Two GXs in this opening and two that we really wanted. So, ah, much happier. Still looking for a good secret, though. Dust Stone. We got a Haunter. LT Surge Strategy, Inke, Caterpie, Clee Fairy, Poliwag, Ekans, Oddish, and then a Kartana. 70 HP, sounds really low. Big Cut, 
attack with 10 plus. If you have exact four prize remaining, this attack does 120 more. These these prize conditions always so weird. False swipe, flip a coin. If heads, put damage counters onto your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. Wow, that's really good. Now that's three energy, but I mean, yeah, that, that can do a lot of damage, especially when you have all these tag team decks rolling around. Um, yeah, bring everyone down. I'm not sure if there's still like those cards that uh, you know just do. Uh, and actually, there's a lot of cards. You know, even like Buzzwall that do damage to your ben opponent's bench. So even if they retreat it, you can still knock them out. So, huh, Cartana, who knew? Firo. Although he just might have too low HP to make him super viable. We got a Caterpie, Cottony, Ekans, Carvana, another Cottony to go with our Whimsicott. And for our last pack in our Unbroken Bonds opening, we have an Alolan Doug Trio with their fabulous hair. So, really good opening, uh, got two of the cards that we were chasing that we were super excited about and now it's time to go for the big, the big hitter, the Reshiram Charizard, that's what we're going to focus on. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, we're, that's what we're going to be searching for in our next few videos. Uh, as always guys, if you want to support the channel, just hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're not already, what are you waiting for? Um, and uh, yeah, let, let me know what your thoughts on, are on the uh, Mux and the Whimsicott. Am I crazy? Um, I feel like the channels I watch that where they play competitive, they try to establish the meta, like definitely haven't seen those two. <laughs> so I may be way off base and if you know why, definitely let me know in a comment below. Um, on that, guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.